Hello, my name is Brian Wallace and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view this short video. During the next 15 minutes you'll be shown an income concept that is sweeping the world. An income model that is allowing ordinary people with work the opportunity to take back control of their finances, time and lives from employers, banking institutions, mortgage companies and the like. An industry that has allowed me and a partner to develop an international business generating an income from 13 countries. Now this is not unique. However, I've achieved this as an ordinary person coming from a haulage background with no prior experience in this industry. What you'll be shown is an income opportunity without borders. A model that allows anyone from any walk of life the opportunity to create success for them and their families, providing they're willing to learn new skills. I came into my particular company back in 1996 with no previous experience and yet my company has taught me everything I needed to know to create success and it offers you exactly the same opportunity. Please view the following 15 minute video with an open mind and once viewed, if you like what you see and hear, simply contact the person who sent it and ask how you can find out more about their particular company. Whatever your decision, I thank you for your time and I hope you find the video educational. Hello and thank you for taking the time to view this short presentation. Over the next 15 minutes or so I'm going to talk to you about a business concept that works. A business concept regarded by business owners, entrepreneurs and billionaires worldwide as being the business of the 21st century. However, before I go into it, I'd like to first talk about the various ways in which people earn a living today. Now obviously the first way would be to be employed or have a job. By being employed you would work for someone else, trade your time for money and basically earn what your employer is willing to pay you. If you're lucky you'll enjoy around four weeks holiday a year and as and when your employer dictates you could get a pay rise. But in essence your employer controls your earnings and time. When somebody has a job it does tend to give them a feeling of security however I'm sure you'll agree that the secure job for life is most definitely a thing of the past. The next way one could earn a living is to be self-employed. People who decide to go self-employed are usually fed up with the ties of being employed and generally want to do something for themselves so they start up a sole trader business. Typically this could be a builder, plumber, IT consultant, an accountant or even a doctor or a lawyer. The downside of course of being self-employed is that you work for yourself and if you don't go to work for any reason you don't earn any money. And this can be very costly if it happens especially as everyone has commitments and bills to pay but at least these people feel they're more in control of their own futures. Let's look at owning a business where you would need to employ others. In the majority of cases you'd probably have to raise some capital so invariably you'd need to put a business plan in front of your bank. This can be very costly to get off the ground and would in most cases entail using your home as collateral. Now statistically we're told that over 60% of all small startup businesses will fail within the first 12 months. Now if that were you and you did have to use your home as collateral and your business failed, you'd have far more to lose than just your business I'm sure you'd agree. So a safer but still costly route into business would be to buy a franchise. But again in most cases you would still need to raise capital. Now on average investing around £10,000 would typically buy you a man and van franchise, 50000 is a typical average franchise cost in the UK and if you had a quarter of a million lying around you could buy something like McDonald's. Now the powerful thing about buying a franchise is that you buy a proven formula that is tried, tested and works. However the downside of a franchise is that one, you're territorially restricted i.e. you can only trade in the town that you bought the franchise for and two, even if you're not yet making a profit you'd still be expected to give a percentage of your turnover annually back to the person you bought the franchise from. But the good news for the franchise owner is that if you can afford to purchase a decent one you have a very high chance of success. The last thing I'd like to touch on is earning interest on investments. Now the downside here of course is that if you have little or no money to invest in the first place you've no chance of earning any interest. So again I suppose that's the downside of maybe having a job where you work for somebody else and you've never got any spare money to put into investments. So is there an alternative? Well the answer is yes. The industry I'm going to talk about is an industry that's so powerful and yet so misunderstood by so many people. So allow me to take you through what it is and how and why it works. The industry I'm referring to is called network marketing. So just what is network marketing? Well it's simply the modern way of taking a product or service from a company or manufacturer to the end user cutting out the middlemen.
And even though most people have either never heard of it or don't understand it, it is exploding all around the world. So let me give you some industry facts. Firstly, network marketing has been quietly growing for over 60 years. We now have tens of thousands of companies involved, and those companies collectively are now responsible for a global industry turning over well in excess of $100 billion in products and services. The industry is also now recognised and respected across the world by governments, business owners, entrepreneurs, and even well-known and respected billionaires are calling it the industry of the 21st century. So who's involved? Well, firstly, Richard Branson. Warren Buffett, the richest man in the world in 2008, and Donald Trump. So what do these guys all have in common? Well, firstly, they're all billionaires, so they know exactly what it takes to be successful in business and how to evaluate a business. And secondly, they all either own or have a stake in a network marketing company, so clearly they see something worth investing in. Even Body Shop's founder, Anita Roddick, decided eventually to move away from franchising and into network marketing once she understood its remarkable power. And even the UK TV chef, Jamie Oliver, is now promoting and endorsing network marketing. So how does network marketing work? Well, firstly, let's look at how traditionally, since the Industrial Revolution, a product has moved from a manufacturer to a consumer. Firstly, a product would be produced. And once produced, the manufacturer's job is complete. If it's an international company, the product then moves out to a national distributor who would be responsible for getting that product into a specific country. There would be wholesalers involved, trucking companies, a sales force, large advertising budget, and finally the product would reach the shelf in the retail outlet and you and I, the consumer, would go in and buy it. Now this distribution method has been around for a few hundred years now since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution. But today, because of network marketing, it is now shown as being very labour intensive and also very costly because of all the companies and corporations involved. Whereas in network marketing, the product moves from the manufacturer directly to a consumer through only one pair of hands, a distributor. So the reason network marketing is so powerful is that it cuts out all the companies and corporations on the right, enabling the distributors who work with the company to earn either a good additional income or even a significant primary income. A good networking company would be cash rich and debt free, enabling it to pour millions into research and development, thus bringing a top quality product to the market. This means the consumer is happy because they enjoy excellent customer service from their distributor and they also get a top quality product at a middle ticket price. So in network marketing, it's a win-win situation for everyone involved. And that can't be said generally for business. Now I've had people say to me, but isn't that one of those pyramid schemes? Okay, let's discuss this pyramid issue for a moment. If you look at any family tree, it looks like a pyramid. The Catholic Church looks like a pyramid. The army is structured like a pyramid. And even the corporate structure is a pyramid. Let me explain what I mean. In the corporate structure, you've only one chairman, several management, and hundreds, if not thousands, of shop floor workers. In this model, how many of the workforce generally earn lots of money? The answer is very few. So in the corporate pyramid, the people at the top are making all the money, and the people at the bottom are not. So let's pose another question. In the corporate structure, how many of the workforce at any one time could ever take the chairman's job? The answer is, it rarely happens. You see, the workforce are generally the people doing all the work on the ground that actually keeps the company in business, and yet the chairman and shareholders generally are the people living in large houses and enjoying the trappings of success. But the workforce are generally the ones who always struggle to pay their bills and never really get ahead. What network marketing does is turn the corporate pyramid upside down. In a network marketing company, everyone starts at the bottom. And everyone has exactly the same opportunity to reach the top, providing they're willing to learn, willing to work, and willing to give it enough time to work, just like any other business. So in summary, the network marketing industry, without doubt, is the fairest income system on the planet, offering an unparalleled opportunity to anyone, regardless of age, whether you're wealthy or broke, 
whether you're well educated or uneducated, the opportunity to achieve tremendous success providing they're willing to work hard. And that is why network marketing is growing so fast. So what makes network marketing so powerful? Well, its power comes from its ability to utilize leverage. Let me explain. Imagine you work for an employer. Your employer will pay your salary, your company car if you have one, your desk and possibly mobile telephone bill, the heat, the light and the space you take up, they have to pay for. And then they have to earn money over and above what you cost them, otherwise they'll go out of business. So unless your employer can earn far more money on you than you actually cost them, there is absolutely no point in employing you. So in essence, your employer is leveraging off your efforts. This is the very reason an employer gets ahead and earns large incomes. It's the very reason most employers always seem to have great lifestyles, but you'll notice that in general, employees rarely achieve this. In my working life up until I discovered network marketing, my family always struggled to pay our bills and there was never any spare money for family holidays and to generally have family fun. We always had too much month for the money. You see, an employer completely understands the power of leverage and that by employing people, they get more done. So what if you could use the same method of time leverage on people that an employer uses, but without having to worry about the normal issues associated with running a conventional business? What if you had the very same opportunity that an employer has, but you don't have to employ anyone, and yet you could still create leverage, generating an excellent part or full-time income, but also enabling you to build a wealth vehicle too? Well, that is exactly what network marketing allows. Let me show you how it works. Let's say that like most people, you have a job that brings in the money to pay the bills and keeps your family ticking over. And let's say that you decide after investigation to start work with a network marketing company. And like most people, you could carve out seven to 10 hours a week to start building your second income stream. Your company will have a full training system in place to teach you everything you need to know to make your business work for you. Now, there are people who tell you that network marketing doesn't work. Let me tell you about these people. They tend to be the people who join a networking company, do nothing, never go to trainings, expect an income, leave when they don't get one, and then tell everyone that network marketing doesn't work. My promise, if you're willing to work, willing to learn, and if you're willing to give it enough time, just like any other business, network marketing works every time. When you join a network marketing company, you'll have a personal coach and mentor who work very closely with you. Now they're your support mechanism and their job is to help you get your business off the ground. So, working an average of just 10 hours a week doing what we teach, your coach and mentor will help you to identify just three people who like you, like what they see and decide to get involved. And let's say that these three people also work 10 hours a week. They're part of your team and are linked to you because you're the person who introduced them with the help of your coach and mentor. So you'll be paid on your 10 hours of productivity and your three team members are paid on their 10 hours of productivity. But you'll also earn a small override for helping them get started. So immediately you started to create leverage. So in this example, you're working 10 hours yourself, but you'll actually be paid on the productivity of 40 hours. Now, back in 1996, when I stumbled across network marketing as an ex-lorry driver, I was very sceptical. In fact, I was so cynical about network marketing, I point-blank refused to look at it for months. But by accident, I saw its power. And once I understood it completely, I became so excited at the possibilities for my family. I got started, I worked hard, I learnt my profession, and now have a very successful international business. That said... For this to be a fair system for everyone, if you have the opportunity to leverage off the efforts of three people, those three people should also be entitled to do the same if they so choose. And if they bring in three people each to their team, they will also be paid on 40 hours. However, those nine people are still part of your team, so you would now be paid on the productivity of 130 hours. If those nine people want to do the same, that's another 270 hours going through your business and at this point you're not even working with these people. You see, when you join a network marketing company, you'll be taught and trained how to do the business. 
And once trained, you'll then teach and train your three people too. And then those three will teach and train their nine. So by this stage, you're now earning a bonus on 400 hours of productivity, and yet you yourself are only working 10. Now this is true leverage at work without the need to employ people. And this is what employers understand and why they employ people. But employees simply trade their time for money, and as I said earlier, never really get ahead. So if what we've discussed so far has caught your attention, what should you look for in a professional networking company? Well, it should have a consumable, repeatable, affordable product. That product will be an everyday, everybody product. The company will have a full training and support program in place, enabling absolutely anyone to achieve, regardless of age, race, colour, background, creed, religion, education or not. It will also have in place an exceptional pay structure, including an impressive corporate benefits package. And these are the things that a top networking company will have in place, so do look for them. So in summary, is network marketing for you? Well, ask yourself, am I truly fulfilled in my current career? Can I earn what I want in my current career? Will my current career allow me to retire early if I choose? Does my current career give me complete time and money freedom? Does my current career offer me an income that I can will to my children or family? And lastly, and very importantly, does my current career excite me? If the answer to one, some, or all of these questions is no, I urge you to fully investigate the industry of network marketing. And if you do, I know that once you understand it, you'll be so excited and will want to come and join us. So thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. I hope you found it informative. What I really hope is that you get back in touch with the person who sent it to you and ask them how you can find out about their particular company. Whatever your decision, I thank you for your time and I wish you success. My name is Brian Wallace.